Okay, so in this Android Studio tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this options menu bar, the one you find at the top where you have icons that uh, correspond to actions and also a drop down menu. And it's a very simple kind of menu to make. It took me three minutes in total. So um, let's get started immediately. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go to our drawable file and create a few vector assets. And these are essentially just icons that we use for the menu bar. And uh, I changed the color to white so it can be visible on our dock background. And uh, yeah, I just created two. One was a rubbish bin and uh, th this one's going to be a heart. And I'm going to rename it to IC Favorite to keep the name short. And then we're going to go straight to our res file and right click and create a new Android resource directory and make it of type menu. And afterwards we're going to click on this menu folder and create a new menu resource file. And inside here we're just going to name it nav underscore menu to keep things simple. And inside our menu file, well, as soon as we give it a little bit more space so you guys can see, uh, we're going to create a few items with IDs. So we're going to start by typing item and we're going to give it an ID of our first item, which is going to be the rubbish bin. So I just did nav underscore delete. And then I give it the icon of the vector drawable that we gave it earlier. And finally, we're going to add a title and show it as an action only if there's room, which essentially means that if there's room on the space, on the, uh, action bar your icon will be displayed if not it will be displayed into the uh, drop down menu and uh, i just copied and pasted it three times i changed the id and the icons of each one to the corresponding icon and the only thing i wanted to show you down here is that if you type in show as action it will give you these five different kind of options if you put always or never it will do the corresponding action so it's uh, it's very simple it's very straightforward and now we're going to go to our main activity file and create an on create options menu method which is going to pretty much inflate our menu and uh, we're just going to write menu inflator dot inflate and we're going to insert uh, r menu and we're going to insert our nav menu from our menu resource directory and we're going to return true of course then we're going to write on options item selected and here's where we can actually click on the items we've created so we're going to do when item dot item id is equal to r dot id nav delete for our rubbish bin it's going to create this toast and it's going to say delete selected and yeah we're going to do this three times one for each of the uh, buttons that we just created or one for each of the icons we just created and uh, just change the text or whatever action you want to be customize as you please and we're going to return super on options item selected but that's actually all there is and i did make a very slight mistake here that i would like to show you that is uh, first we click on the rubbish bin as you can see it says delete selected then we click on the heart it says favorite selected but my small mistake was uh, writing the title as the action so here you can just change your titles back to the original titles they were supposed to be because these are what will be displayed on the action bar and that was just a small mistake. It didn't really change the tutorial at all. It was just uh, like a very, very small uh, mistake, let's say. But uh, if there's anything else you'd like me to show, just write it in the comment section. I would be happy to make a tutorial about it. And uh, see you in the next video.